King is my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smart in the happen, so <laughs> it go surprise you. The defense headquarters don't tell a uh, governor, so don't tell the government. He said, go, go discuss with Tinobu. May they allow willing bandits to surrender. And this is after they had discussion with Northern elders saying it is wrong for Nigeria to be killing the youth because they involve themselves in banditry and, all, and what have you. That they should allow anyone who is willing and ready to surrender. They should allow them to surrender, integrate them into society. Buhari's administration did it, you know, and that it's Tinubu administration should adopt the same procedure and give them, you know, an opportunity rather than looking for ways, okay, to get rid of them. That they only went there out of circumstances and these circumstances could be corrected, can be amended if the government give them a chance, that the government should please, you know, understand them and give them a chance and what have you. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Allow willing bandits to surrender. Defense headquarters tells Tinobu's government, the North have had discussions with us and says these people are ready to surrender. If they are ready to surrender and there is willingness, there is no need for the fight. We should willingly integrate them into society, help them to settle. The defense headquarters yesterday calls on government on all levels that he'll be having discussions with Ashiwaju and made Bola Tinubu to allow armed bandits willing to surrender to do so. It happened during Buhari's administration and it was good. They were able to come out willingly knowing that they will get support and the government will not persecute them. They will not be sent to prison. They will be integrated and given an opportunity to settle into society. He calls on the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Lagbadi, other troops to restrain poles of operating to clear terror enclosure. There is no need. Allow them come out willingly to surrender. There is no need to encroach into their, into their enclosure. Let's not make them feel uncomfortable. He also directed commands to show leadership by example. A statement issued by the Director of Defense Information, DDI, Brigadier General Taco, Gashi said the security advice followed a video clip in circulation across the social media handles of some soldiers engaging with bandits somewhere in Castina State having peace discussion. It said the headquarters has launched an investigation to the video conf to confirm its authenticity as regards to the soldiers seen in uniform having these discussions with bandits. The defense headquarters is aware of a resolution of some bandits to repent and hand over their weapon to the authorities. This is yet good result and is oncoming, and we want the federal government to encourage them by giving a willing hand and a supporting en encouragement by telling them that they will not be arrested or persecuted, but rather they will be given an opportunity to integrate into society. The defense headquarters assured Nigerians that it has non keen measures aimed at, res at restoration of peace is yielding results with several bandits and other criminal elements surrendering to the authority. We will continue, but if somebody from other another part apart from the north come out to say they are surrendering, by the way, we are not um, supporting evil. Evil is bad. Anyone who is caught doing evil should pay for the full repercussion. That's not what we are. So we're not supporting it at all. Okay, but if any other person from another part of the country come out to say that you know they are that this is going on and they come out to and they come out to surrender, will they be given the same treatment? Just a question, or they will be or they will shoot aside. I'm just asking a question. I did not say it will happen. I'm just asking. We're just asking. Government at all levels should encourage bandits genuinely willing to surrender so that they will be open and be able to come out. The statement said Defense Headquarters is doing everything possible to restore peace and tranquility in all parts of the country and urge the citizens to remain calm in a law-abiding environment. He said the Chief of Defense, General Christopher Musa, assured Nigerians that the armed forces of Nigeria will engage in every lawful means possible to ensure peace and stability in the region and in the nation. We therefore call on all government from all re from all levels to ensure that they support this move so that these people can free 
can feel confident in coming out to surrender, which will be good for us all. So, now so we hear the matter. So, defense uh, chief, now they say, we well, say, they'll go discuss with him. They'll say, there is a possibility, say, these people, they won't come aside. But if there are still, you know, words against them saying, if you do this, this is what will happen, that the people will feel afraid that Buhari, uh, Buhari did it, and it was good. Buhari was able to restore the people, you know, gave them a repentant bandit program that Tinubu should please adopt the same. And this is after Northern, uh, Northern elders have, some Northern elders have met with them and said you know they should discuss the defense should discuss so that there's no need for battle and if there's no need for battle there's no need for anybody to fight so that they can willingly come out and everybody can be happy well this is what is happening this is what is going on and then we all just need to begin to understand that you know as it is at the moment every single person have what it takes to make a difference but what are we doing and how are we going about it it is important that we look at all this very critically so Tinubu's administration is being encouraged to allow them to come out and to you know to be able to express themselves they should not uh, make them shy away they should support them they should give them you know all the necessary help that you know they could possibly get so that uh, they could willingly come out you know and uh, and you know and be able to give their their contribution and they should be integrated back into the society you see, so they should be integrated back into the society. This would be a good sign. This would be good for the nation and the people. Well, my lovely, wonderful people, how do, what do you think about this? They want to bring Tinubu into that repented bandit program. That's came. That's that's come. They want it to continue, and they want Tinubu to endorse it by releasing the money of the nation into such a scam again. Well, I would like to hear what you think because uh, these things are already happening and every single person is beginning to see and we are, we are all taking cue from all that is going on right now. If you are not aware, you can see that uh, already, you know, there are things, you know, that are, being, that are being passed on in this country and every single person is wondering, you know, what the next line of action is. There are people who want to use everything they can, you know. They want to use everything they can in order for them to get ahead way. You know, however way, humanly speaking, possible, they want to stay ahead. And they don't care how they do it. They don't really care what somebody else is saying. They just want to get ahead, whether you like it or not. They just want to stay ahead. And um, even if it means affecting the whole nation, they cannot, they cannot be bothered. So long as they themselves are served. Every other person can, you know, can, can deal with it. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.